Walking into a liquor store can be overwhelming. There's a huge variety of wines, whiskey, spirits. How do you know what's worth to spend your money on? How do you try something new? How do you know what is good? That's where we come in. On a regular basis, we review affordable, accessible and interesting wine, whiskey and spirits and here on Sipping Slowly, we tell you what we find. Here you will find suggestions and recommendations of what you can try with confidence. Hi there, I am Jeanette from Whiskey of the Week. And I am Rulia, the blogger bay behind Boozy Foodie. Welcome to this episode of Sipping Slowly. What are we sipping this week, Rulia? Oh, I'm quite excited to share this one with you. Um, it's the Survivor Chien and Blanc 2016, and this is honestly one of my favorite wine forms, and I really, really want you to taste this one. Um, this is actually, okay, maybe I shouldn't say too much before we get started. Um, this is barrel fermented, um, so you will get that beautiful buttery, oaky taste almost on your palate. Smells apricots and peaches. I mean, it's just so, so gorgeous. There's a lot of oak. Mmm. Mm. Roots. A 70% first full French barrel, so that's why you, you get that beautiful buttery oaky um, mouth feel as well. It's nice. And do you know what I like most about this bottle? I love the label. The label with the cow on is just beautiful. It's got a story. Yes, it has. Um, this is actually so cool. Um, there's, there's a story, of course, this is a Nguni cow. Um, I don't know if you can see it. But the story is that she was on a truck, on her way somewhere, and she just decided the cow stops here. And she jumped ship. And uh, she ended up just leading this happy life in the Swartland. And Swartland is, of course, where, where this wine comes from as well. So it's just that survivor spirit, I guess. I think it's, it's terribly charming. And she has good taste in the place where she wants to go. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Absolutely. What would you pair this with? Ooh, um, yeah, some uh, like a French onion tart maybe, something like rich and buttery, uh, roasted chicken. Mm, I can oh, totally yeah. that. Mm. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, welcome. This is really <laughs> delicious. Mm, no, this is, this is honestly a favorite. Where would you buy it? We normally stock up at Macro, and you should be able to get it online as well. And well, do yourself a favor and just go and check out Survivor's website um, because they have all these recipes and pairing suggestions as well. Um, so, yeah, I think it's lovely. I'll put the Survivor website in the link below. In yes. The oh, wonderful. How much does it cost? Um, 120 rand a bottle. About. That's not bad. But I think isn't it bad if you think it's, it's like well awarded wine. It's got four and a half star John Platter, um, 91 on the Cantor Awards as well. So it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's fantastic value for money. This is beautiful. Mm, I think so too. Cheers. So Jeanette, what are you sipping this week? This week, I am trying the Cardu 12 year old. Isn't this a beautiful bottle? Oh, it's simply gorgeous. Something different compared to the standard. <gasps> <laughs> Something different compared to the standard straight up whiskey bottles. It's a beautiful square shape. And this is from the Space Side. It's one of the Diageo distilleries. Oh, okay. Hmm. And it's a distillery with a lot of female intervention in the start. I think her name was Helen Cumming, that started the distillery with her husband and had a very strong hand in the distillery. Oh. It's a Space Side whiskey so it's going to be soft and mm. malty and there's going to be fruit toffee there's toffee mm. honey oh this smells fantastic let me put some water in yes you. please thank you mm. and the most beautiful is golden color oh it is this is stunning wow It's quite a dry whiskey. Mm. Can you feel that dry mm. wooden, like dry oak? Oh, this is beautiful though. It's nice, no. It's so smooth. There's a lot of fruit, apples, pears. Mm. It makes me think of a toffee apple. 
Oh, exactly. Toffee apple. Yeah, that's a very, very good way of describing it. And this I think what's nice with this, it's such a soft, easy drinking. Mm. Mm. This is smooth, soft, easy drinking. And it's readily available. Oh, you can find okay. it anywhere. You can find it at most good liquor stores. Okay. And it's not expensive. Okay. What does it retail for? It retails for around 500 Rand. Seriously? Oh, Which wow. is not bad for a 12 year old single malt. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and I'm going to look out for this one. This is lovely. This is lovely. And mm. I tasted it and I wondered what would be nice with it. But you know what's actually nice? Mm -hmm. Just a nice piece of grilled steak. Oh, yes. No, just a nice piece of good quality steak, just mm. grilled with some soft whiskey. The website suggests you try it with a strawberry flavored chocolate. Oh, that's quite interesting. Chocolate and whiskey is always a very good combination. Okay, okay. But yeah, the, 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 the strawberry will bring out some more of the fruity notes. Of course, of course. But isn't this lovely? Oh, I, this is really, really lovely. This is. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> that is all that we have for you this week on Sipping Slowly. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and see what else we get up to. I'm Aurelia from Boozy Foodie. And I'm Jeanette from Whiskey of the Week. Thank you for joining us on Sipping Slowly and subscribe below to keep in touch. Have a great week and remember, drink responsibly.